All right, guys, before we get started, this video is sponsored by AOBot. Now, AOBot is an all-in-one sneaker bot, and they have been used over 200,000 times to cop all of the hype merch, items, and even sneakers. For a limited time only, you can use your services until the end of Black Friday. They're running a 35% off sale right now on their website, so if you're new to the game and you want to get on top of the sneaker game for real, this is one of your best shots to do it. Do not miss out on this 35% off sale. Trust me, it's very rare. If you guys are interested, man, it will be linked down below in the description. Now, let's get into the video. Night squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Jones Jones, and I am back with another video. Fight, yeah, head top. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, man. Today, I am giving you guys a full breakdown of all of the clothing pickups that I got steals on for the Black Friday sale. Now, as of course, today, man, it's Thanksgiving Day, actually, so you might be seeing this a little bit later, but today is actually Thursday. A lot of the spots that I bought these clothing pieces from already had like an earlier sale or like an early before Black Friday sale, so if you go in there now, you could probably still be able to find some good deals now unlike any other uh clothing unboxing or, or package haul that i usually do this time i tried to use sites that i've never used before and some sites i usually go to before just because i wanted to mix up and mix and match some of the pieces that i got now um a lot of these sites i've heard of before some of them like i said is my first time buying so i'm gonna let y'all know how the process went and just about how everything goes if it was smooth if it wasn't if i recommend it and if i don't but without further ado let's get into the video i think i can speak for for all my sneaker heads because majority of my subscribers are sneaker heads as you see behind me my sneaker collection one big thing that i always mess up on is like i focus so much on shoes i have over 200 pairs of shoes but sometimes it's so easy to forget about the clothing it's nothing worse than being a sneaker head with every pair of jays and nothing to wear and sometimes i fall in that category because i just I just don't buy no clothes, man. Now, these jeans I picked up are my favorite jeans to the point where I'm honestly, listen, I didn't get no money from these people, okay? So you can believe me when I say this, this is not an advertised video. I did not get paid for any of these companies that I'm about to start talking about. But look at me and listen to me. This jean company I'm about to put y'all on to, I'm not gonna hold you. They are the best jeans ever. Now, this company is called Serenity. It's located actually in LA. And I found it on Instagram and I was very interested in their jeans. So I bought a few and the fit is perfect. So first off, as you guys see here, we have like this tan pair of jeans and it has the taper size on the back. You have like this black and red taper side. And this is very, very clean. It's a very, very clean pair of pants. And like I said, you can get it over at Serenity. Now guys, the price point, I believe on these is like 80 bucks. And I know a lot of people might say that's a lot, but the quality you get from the jeans is worth it. But you know, I just don't believe in paying $175 for a shirt, $300 for a pair of pants. But these pants retail at like about 85 bucks and they're worth every dollar. I guarantee you, all these sites will be linked down below in the description. If you head over, actually, I believe I do have a discount code with them. I don't know if it's still up, but if you use discount code SNIPER, it should give you like 10% off, 20% off. I'm sorry if I forget, but my code might still be active. These jeans are fire. I chose to go with the taper fit. I noticed like style that kind of started popping in 2019. But more importantly, I just like this nice sandy wash colorway that it had going on right here on the pants. Of course, got the rips on the pants leg and it has that nice taper fit at the bottom. Us being sneaker heads, man, it's important that our bottom of our pants fit very, very perfectly. I like to stack up the denim. You don't really want to have no boot cut jeans with no sneakers. And of course, as I told you guys, it's stretch fit, so it does stretch. And so there's a waist in the pants leg and a whole nine. Also picked up another colorway. This pair is more like a wash jean denim feel. The other one's like more like a sandy wash. And this has the taper size as well as i told you guys i did like the taper denim jeans i don't have it so this was something that i wanted to personally add to my wardrobe because out of all the jeans that have the taper size i like the ones they had best and more importantly i just didn't have any like not one pair of uh, tapered denim jeans in my collection. So I wanted to throw these in there. This one, as you can see, is like a Volt Green with the black. And Volt Green is one of my favorite colorways, especially coming into like the winter fall season. As you guys see, it has like the paint splatter right here on the legs as well. Again, has that nice rip. The bottom is still that nice taper feel, that nice stretchable denim on the bottom. The material, once again, is A1, guys. Just another pair of denim jeans. That's, I mean, it's what you need at the end of the day. And last but not least, the last pair of jeans I got over from Serenity, as I told you, I'm not getting paid for this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm not paid for this video. Three pair of jeans. And, and in my closet, I got like another five pair of jeans, all from Serenity. So this is the all black pair of jeans. Just because all black is 
super smooth, man. It does not have like the taper size though. Just a clean all black pair of pants. And at the end of the day, as I told you guys, that's an essential in a wardrobe. You need an all black pair of pants. You know what I'm saying? It's classic at the end of the day. So guys, once again, all three of those jeans will be found over at Serenity. It will be linked down below. But let's get into something, uh, some of the other pieces that I chose. Next up, man, I'm gonna go to a bag that I got from a clothing company called ASOS. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's spelled A-S-O-S. -S. Now, a lot of people actually put me on to this. I have used them before, but it has been a while since I went back. As you guys know right now, it's like winter, fall, and it's hoodie season. You know what I'm saying? It's hoodie season. I have no hoodies. I have like a few, but they kind of all outdated. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really liking the vibes right now. So I kind of just went over there and went hoodie crazy. Anything that I actually liked, how it fit or how it looks, I got a hoodie. Hoodies are important to me, man, because I'm a layer guy, especially when it gets cold. I throw me a hoodie on, maybe like a denim jacket over it, a bomber over it, a uh, flannel over it. Either way it go, I need a hoodie, and a hoodie is very essential whenever we're talking about winter and fall, because at the end of the day, you need a hoodie. Ah, this is a huge bag, man. I did get some good stuff out of there. ASOS was pretty cool, and I think like it was like next day shipping for free, so that's one good thing about ASOS. It was like free next day shipping, but let's get into the first bag. And this hoodie was simple, like this dark army green, and as I said, simple, okay? I need primary colors. Primary colors are the most slept on because at the end of the day, you need different primary colors to go up under stuff. I like, like I told you guys earlier, I like layers. And you get something like this dark army green, it's easy to rock. If I wanted to bring out the Travis Scott sixes or something like that, Travis Scott ones, the Mauve or the Moab Yeezy 700s, of course, all those shoes doesn't match like right on the back, but you don't have to in this day and age. You don't have to match right off the back. This is just a very good primary color, a primary good hoodie to have to throw over and under. And this one was over at ASOS. I believe this was, was like for 20 bucks or something like that. Next up, we have another hoodie here. It's more like in the maroon red type colorway. Same vibes, same vibes. You need this, man. You need this hoodie. Very essential primary colors are very essential once again say if i want to throw on like the cardinal sevens i can throw this on over the black shirt right now throwing on black pants i got from serenity or even the, the tan colorway with the red stripe going down and rock that from serenity and it's a full fit or i can throw something over it i can mix and match it's so easy but primary hoodies are slept on that's all you need is a primary color hoodie and you can do whatever you want to do from there once again the quality is very good this one was i believe 20 bucks as well but another primary hoodie over from ASOS. Still, we got a primary hoodie in one of my favorite colorways, and that is the orange. Orange is definitely popping this year, 2020, along with that Vogue colorway. Orange is just a good color to have. As you guys can see, got the orange hoodie here in the medium. Same thing, basic. Once again, say if I want to bring out the Wave Runners or something like that, an easy something to throw up under. Say if I want to bring out the Cav Fours, it's an easy. Say if I want to bring out the Travis Scott Sixes, it's easy. It's easy, man. Primary colors. A lot of people say sneaker YouTubers can't dress and all that. I get it, but at the end of the day, I'm a simple dude. I don't try to do extra stuff. Primary hoodies. I throw them over or under certain things. I let it work. I let it speak for itself. I'm not into all the extra. And last but not least, the last essential hoodie that I have is the gray colorway. And I really wonder how this one fit because this one was like a muscle fit, they say. You know, like your boy been kind of in the gym. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of wanted that to show off a little bit. But yeah, this is the gray colorway. And once again, that gray is just easy and essential. If I wanted to rock the static joints, I can just rock this in black pants and a, and a hoodie. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the static joints, this gray shirt, I mean, this gray hoodie and some black pants and, it, and it's over with. This one is kind of thinner because like I said, it's supposed to be like a muscle fit. But all of those hoodies and including like two more other things I got in here, it was all like only like a hundred bucks with next day shipping free. So shout out to ASOS. If you guys don't know, man, I'm telling you, it's where it's at. And the last two things I I got out of this package which was actually pretty dope was a bundle deal okay so we all know it's getting cold out and i have no hat wear okay and i got two of the fisherman beanies y'all already know the vibes two of the fisherman beanies it's a black and the gray and i believe both of these were only 10 bucks together so i paid five dollars each for this ten dollars uh total and it's just one of the fisherman beanies that became so popular you know it's getting cold out but it still gives you like that nice stylish look whenever you're trying to rock something now guys the last spot i actually went to was fashion nova i've been seeing fashion nova pretty much look out for everybody so fashion nova if you're watching this you know what i'm saying holla at your boy snipe jones jones fashion nova is mainly female i'm not gonna hold you but they do have a catalog for men and i was actually very very surprised i just like asos all of that stuff i bought over at asos was, was like 70% off. Some of it was like 20% off. Everything was a deal. Everything I got over at ASOS, all those hoodies, even the two black hats, it was like a hundred bucks plus free shipping. You can't beat that. That's like 
know what I'm saying? We buy sneakers all the time. One pair of sneakers might be 250. I just bought all those hoodies and some hats for like less than 100 bucks or like less than 150 for sure. Now over at Fashion Nova, I don't think I spent that much either. I think it was somewhere around there, but I didn't pick up like any hoodies, I don't think. I picked up more essential pieces like shirts and other stuff like that. But Fashion Nova do have like a nice catalog for men. I've never bought anything from them. This is my first time buying anything from Fashion Nova. So I'm kind of curious to see as in like what the material looked like and, and how it came out. Ah, let's see what they sent over. Well, I kind of know what I ordered already, but I'm kind of wondering how everything came out. Okay, I know what these are, man. This right here, I was kind of nervous to buy because it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to try something new. So this pair right here is actually a pair of pants. It's an orange pair of pants, like more like the baggy cargo look. And I wanted to see how these will look. Um, I'm really a big fan of the orange. And I know this is like a bright pair of pants and everything. But I really did think I'd be able to stylish with something simple, uh, something something not too much. I definitely think like the cargo pants with like the nice little, uh, what you wanna call this, elastic bottom. I think it's nice to have in your collection. I do have pairs that's more like that uh, army green or like the camo colorway, but I wanted to go away with this orange pair. Kinda looks like a, a jail jumpsuit a little bit. But I had some ideas and I had some things that I wanted to do with these pair of pants. So by the way, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, then go ahead and uh, follow me as well because I'm going to be posting a lot of this stuff on my IG. And let me know if you like how I styled it or like how it came out. Now this tee right here was very, very dope. I like this right off the back. I did get some tees over at Fashion Nova. And this was like the first one I looked at because it looked vintage and it was just dope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like this one. This one is that Mary J. Blige. It definitely gives you that vintage look. You see that? You see that? That's fire right there. That's fire. That Mary J. Blige vintage tee with like the tie-dye on the back. Definitely nice. Now, as far as size, and I got this in the medium, it does look like it'll fit me. But however, I don't think I can ever wash this shirt ever. It's definitely, uh, <laughs> maybe I should have got like one size up. I am a true medium though. I hate how large it fit on me, bro. It just fit way too baggy. But yeah, though, this was fire. Uh, definitely like this. Make sure you let me know how you feel about this down below in the comments. Next up is another shirt that I actually liked a lot, man. It said it was oversized. So hopefully it's not too big because the way my shirts fit is very, very important to me. I can't rock the baggy look or the oversized look. So uh, this here, ah, uh, it is oversized, man. Very oversized. So maybe I should have got a small in this because it's a medium. It fits very, very wide. As y'all see, it's a man's medium. And it's something simple, something just like that gray. It says Saints right there. However, man, I don't know. I don't think this is my style, man. I might be returning this because it's way too wide. It didn't look this wide in the photo, so that's one thing about, man, buying online. You can't really try on clothes. You guys, the last thing out of the pack is another tee. This is a lot of clothing, man. The last thing out of the pack is just another tee, and this tee was very, very simple. Black and white, and it says, what, is it, what does it say? Red first, like a sandwich, and it, it just had, like, some, some nice colors. It wasn't nothing crazy. I think this shirt was, like, 12 bucks or something like that. Uh, very, very just a regular shirt, something I can throw on under a hoodie, under a flannel. I, li I really like dressing in layers, so when I pick up certain things, I look at it in the concept of, like, what can I throw this under or what can I throw this over? Like that same shirt, like the shirt I just had right here. I might just throw this under something if I don't like the way it fits by itself. It can easily go under something, you know what I'm saying? But, guys, that is just about it for the video. Please tell me what you think about the new clothing pickups I picked up down below in the comments. Once again, guys, if you are interested in any of these items that I picked up, they will all be linked down below. I'm very, very uh, happy with what I picked up, and hopefully you guys will too. Till next time, man, it is your boy Sniper Jones, and you know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but who really putting in that work though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.